video, I want to show you how to identify arithmetic sequences. Remember, we have sequences, which is an ordered list of numbers separated by commas. And we're trying to find out whether it's an arithmetic sequence. Remember, if they have a common difference uh, or the values in between, the distance between each uh, sequential term or following term is going to be the same. All right. I'm going to show you how to do it. We have two different problems that we're going to work through. And uh, let's get started. First one uh, says to uh, says negative nine, negative two, five, twelve, and nineteen. So first step says to do the following: find the difference uh, of the terms by subtracting the later term from the previous term. All right. So I'm going to start off with putting step one there. Now I want to identify which term is which as we go through, which will make it easier for us to figure out what the difference is for each and uh, for us to see if we have an arithmetic sequence or not. Um, so we have A2 minus A1, which means the second term minus the first term, a later term minus a previous term. I'm going to write in the second term is negative 2 minus, and then the first term, which is negative 9. All right, we have negative 2 minus a negative. That actually becomes a plus, negative 2 minus a negative, negative 2 plus 9, which is equal to 7. So far, so good. Let's try it for a later term. We're going to do the third term minus the second term, which is going to be the number 5. That's our third term minus negative 2, which is our second term. Well, again, if I subtract the negative, that becomes a plus. That becomes five plus two, which is seven. And it looks like we're getting we're getting the same thing. So I'm now I'm going to try a four, the fourth term, minus a three, the third term, which in this case is twelve minus five. Hey, look at that, we get seven yet again. A five. Now we're doing the last one that we have up here. The fifth term minus the fourth term, so 19 minus 12, which gets a 7, all right? Now let's look at step two and see what it says. It says, answer the following questions. Uh, are the terms equally distant from each other? Well, as you can see, they are equally distant from each other. So I'm going to mark down, this is step 2A. I'm going to say yes, which helps me to conclude that it is an arithmetic sequence, all right? Um, and so, 2B asks the following. Uh, it says, is the sequence ascending? Then the common difference will be positive, right? As the numbers, as you go from one term to the next, it's going upwards. So yes, it is ascending. So I'm going to put yes in answer to that question. And I'm going to write in what the common difference is. Remember, we represent that with the letter D. And it is equal to the value that we got every time we did subtraction. And D is equal to 7. Right, and that's the that's the part A. Now we can go into part B with the next sequence that's on the same page. We have these following terms: 23, 15, 9, 5, and 3. We're going to do step one again by taking the difference between a later term and the previous term, or its previous term. So we're going to take 15. I'm going to subtract 23. I get here negative 8. Okay. Let's do the third term minus the second term. So a3 minus a2, 9 minus 15, we get negative 6. I'm going to try the fourth term minus the third term, a4 minus a3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the number 5 minus the number 9, I get negative 4. And then the fifth term minus the fourth term, gets us, sorry, it is 3 minus 5, which we get as negative 2. Now, as you can tell, when I take the difference of each uh, pairing of numbers, right, a later term, a later term minus the previous term, later term minus the previous term, later term minus the previous, later minus the previous, I'm getting different values. So I have, I, I'm getting different values, but they're not common differences because it's not the same number showing up like we did in part A. So then I'm going to answer in question of step two, part A, are the terms equally distant from each other? I say no. So I don't need to identify whether it's an arithmetic sequence that goes in ascending or descending. I'm going to just jump over to 
step three, which says if the answer to 2a is no, which it is, uh, then the sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. I'm going to put in here, not an arithmetic sequence. So there, there's an example of one where you have an arithmetic sequence and where you don't have an arithmetic sequence. You follow the steps, you're able to tell which one is which.